Scorpio. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the second half of March. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, also Venus. This is general. This will not resonate with all of you Scorpios out there. Do check your other placements for additional messages. All right, Scorpio, let it pop in. Let it be great, of course. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, do subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you guys are wanting to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can check the description box below. All right, so let's see, Scorpio. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We have compromise that came out. I'm going to pull three messages and then we're going to hop into the love portion, all right? So let's see, Scorpio. We have your thoughts and fears are holding you back. No, okay. And we have divine timing. So something is happening in divine timing, okay? Um, with the divine timing card. Something's happening in divine timing, but your thoughts and your fears are holding you back, okay? Your thoughts and your fears are holding you back. When it comes to something coming together, okay, you guys can be thinking very negative, or you guys can fear something's gonna happen, um, or not gonna happen. I mean, we do have compromise. Someone is wanting you to compromise with them, or you're willing to compromise with this person. You're willing to compromise when it comes to this situation. I feel like whatever is going on, whatever's happening, it's gonna happen in divine timing. And we have spring here for the overall energy. So the timing is now okay spring divine timing this is all about to happen now okay i feel like your fears and your negative thoughts held you back from this actually happening um let's see we have compromise though let's see we have compromises here i'm not taking all those sorry scorpio let's see why is compromise here Show sincere gratitude, okay? So you guys are needed to show and express gratitude to the situation. You guys went through something, okay? I feel like it wasn't, um, it wasn't a great experience, okay? And you guys are needed to show sincere gratitude. You guys are needed to, you know, just be thankful, grateful, and blessed for the situation, the experience, whatever you guys went through, okay? You guys are needed to pray, trust, and wait on things to shift and change for you, for things to be better when it comes to this situation. The timing is now, divine timing in spring, okay um so something is happening something is playing out and it's playing out right now okay and i feel like it took longer because you guys were in these negative thoughts okay or you guys feared that this wasn't gonna happen all right but i feel like all that is coming into play all right scorpio so let's hop into the love portion and let's see what's going on with you guys in love all that sweet my son is texting me okay all right, so let's see what's going on. All right, so let's see. Spirit of Universe messages for Scorpio, Summer Rising, also Venus, second half of March. What is coming in for Scorpio in love? All right, let's see. Spirit of Universe love messages for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on with you guys. So when it comes to Scorpio and the heart of the matter, let's see what the heart of the matter is. Uh -oh. We have the King of Pentacles, all righty. So King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You guys can be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right, this is commitment, a relationship, something stable, solid, security, stability, stabil stability. Something stable with that King of Pentacles here. All right. I'm sorry, guys. I just have to respond to my son. He said, Mom, you're the most beautiful woman in the world. Aw, you're so sweet, babe. All right. Sorry. I love you, Scorpio. Don't be mad. All right. So, King of Pentacles, something stable, solid, security, stability. Like I said, it could be an earth sign. All righty. Um, let's see what the current energy is around the situation. The moon. Okay. So, Cancer and Pisces energy. Something hidden. Someone not telling you everything. Um, this could be um, something that's hidden from you, some type of secret. You're in the, someone's like keeping something from you or you're in the dark about something or something, like I said, is hitting. Something needs to be revealed. So we're going to see what's going on, all right, Scorpio? Now, where their mind is at, so their true thoughts, we have the five of wands reverse. So coming out of inner conflict, they can be getting rid of someone. Um, someone could have been talking to multiple people with this five of wands reverse but this is also like a peaceful resolution you guys coming together compromising being at peace talking this out 
working things out. There's something that is trying to come together. All right. Now, let's see um, their current feelings towards you. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Because the Queen of Pentacles reverse is someone that's ungrounded. They're not stable. They're not balanced. Okay? It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It's in reverse. This King of Pentacles could be someone that's committed and you're the Queen of Pentacles reverse and you're stepping outside of your relationship, your marriage, or your commitment. Or it's like you're the person that they have on the side and you're okay with it. Because that's the energy of the Queen of Pentacles reverse. When it comes to what we're seeing. So let's see, Scorpio. Now, what they want from you, temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Someone doesn't want to separate, okay? The temperance card in reverse can also be you guys clashing and not getting along. So, we're going to definitely clarify because it looks like things have kind of switched up a bit. Let's see what is yet to unfold. Six of pentacles in reverse, a one-sided situation, something that's not an equal give and take. Someone that's all about themselves, for themselves, someone that's selfish, all right? A lot of earth energy here. Um, overall energy, well, the potential outcome, the higher font, Taurus energy, commitment. This can also be a lesson. Remember, the higher font is our teacher. Three of cups, some type of reunion, some type of celebration, coming together, going out, having a good time, all right? So, yeah, Scorpio, let's hop in. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's really going on, Scorpio, all right? All right, spirit messages for Scorpio. So we have this King of Pentacles here, and this is the heart of the matter. So let's see what this is about. We have a Two of Wands. A decision needs to be made with that Two of Wands. We have a Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We have a Six of Pentacles in reverse. So... Who is this King of Pentacles to Scorpio? So this is someone that you want to commit to. This is someone that you want to be with. Okay? You've kind of given up on this situation. You distanced yourself. They could have ghosted you. There is a delay in something coming together. You've been waiting for this to come in. Okay? Um, if they're not committed, it's like this is someone that you really want to be with. This is someone that you really want to commit to. Like you really like them. Like if you're dating several people or dating a few people, like this is your number one person. You're like, nope, I like them. This is who I want to be with. This is who I see myself committing to. I kind of want to say this, but I don't. But be careful what you wish for, Scorpio. All right? It's not all what it seems is what I'm getting. Because we have someone that needs to make a decision or a decision has been made. Okay? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that you're putting more energy and effort into something, coming together, actually happening, working out. I feel like this person has came back to you and has told you, like, I like you, let's work things out, I'm ready for a relationship. They express something to you, but there's still fear here. They're still not ready. It's one-sided, okay? You're going to be putting all the work in. I feel like in the past, they weren't giving into this relationship. They weren't offering, they weren't meeting you halfway, and they're still going to be the same way. They're still the same way. Nothing has really changed but the fact that they made a decision about coming towards you. Now, with this five of wands in reverse, either someone else cut them off, something didn't work out between them and someone else, or it's like they're just not talking to no one else and they're coming towards you, Scorpio. So be very careful when it comes to this person, all right? Um, now, let's see how the moon is here because this is what, um, this is the current energy around the situation, all right? So let's see. See, why is the moon here? Temperance. Hmm. The hangman. A delay. Yep. See the moon. Things are hidden. Things you don't know. Temperance is things working behind the scene, but this is also patience. Or someone's been very patient waiting for this to come back together. Someone couldn't figure someone else out. Or someone still can't figure someone out. Their feelings or emotions they hang man. Someone is still trying to figure this out. Someone is still needing to surrender. The Ten of Cups is coming up in reverse. Let's see why the Ten of Cups is in reverse. The Four of Cups. 
So someone could have broke up with someone, ended a relationship, a marriage, some type of long-term relationship. Okay, so Scorpio, you could have been with someone was in a long-term relationship. You broke up with someone, met someone. You really like this person. You want to move forward with this person, but you kind of feel rejected by this person at times. Um, this person is kind of confusing you because one minute they're all in, one minute they're not. You've already made a decision to have swords reverse. This is someone that you see yourself moving forward with. Like, you really want this, Scorpio. Why is this to have swords coming up in reverse? Six of Wands. Yeah, you want to move this forward. And the Sun card is in reverse. You're kind of sad how things are unfolding. Are This can be a Leo that you are moving forward with. And then it's like, you're moving forward, but you're just still not happy. Or whoever this is, it's like their sign. You're moving forward, but you're still not happy. You're moving forward and you're still not happy because you're still not getting what you want. You still haven't gained clarity. You still, like you're, you're I'm not going to say you're lost, but it's like, you just still, like, you're just like, I cannot get the clarity I need. Or you're like, I'm not getting the answers that I need when it comes to this person. Why is the sun in reverse? King of Cups in reverse? Because this person is coming into your life, but they're coming in as detached emotionally. They're not really opening up. Okay? I feel like this person could have a lot of feelings, a lot of love for you, but they're not opening up. And this is you, Scorpio. Because it's like, this is something that you really want or want it. Why the King of Cups reverse? The Eight of Cups. And we have the Nine of Swords reverse. You may you may walk away from this because you're like, you know what? I'm not gonna stress myself out. I'm not gonna hold on to guilt. I'm not gonna feel like I'm not gonna feel bad. I'm not gonna feel wrong in this situation. So whoever this is, whatever this is, whatever this is about, you're thinking about walking away, or you feel like walking away is the best thing to do. Because there's just so much confusion here. Okay? Um now we have this five of wands here, and this is in their true thoughts. Three of pentacles. You guys could have met this person at work. Three of pentacles is about putting plans in action, working things out, coming together. One to the three of pentacles. Okay, someone has made a decision. Okay, um, seven of cups is in reverse. Ace of cups. This person could have told you, like, I love you, I care for you, I have feelings for you, but it's like you still want more. Or... Um, this person may have told you like they're ready for a relationship. Like I'm ready to start something new. I'm ready for a relationship. But I am still feel like there's more to this situation. The Queen of Pentacles is here. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So this is someone that is telling you that they want a relationship. They want to settle down. Or they're ready. But they're not really ready. Eight of Pentacles is the reverse. They're not really ready. They're not. This can also be someone that you see and view as the person you want to commit to. Queen of Pentacles, feminine energy, male or female. But they may not feel that same way right now. Okay? Um, Eight of Pentacles is reverse. Paid of Swords reverse. They're blocking that out. When you start talking about commitment, feelings, a relationship, building, growing, something long term, they block it out. They ignore it. They don't say much. I feel like this person has came to you, Scorpio, or they came back to you. And they're the ones acting funny. They're being distant. I feel like you guys do hang out, talk. But when it comes to feelings and emotions, they become distant. They're not telling you enough. They're not opening up. They're not expressing. They're not being expressive. So there's just a there's still a lot going on in this situation. There's something that I feel like is there's still something wrong in this situation. Something is not adding up. Okay. Something is not adding up right. So let's go into their feelings towards you. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles came back out. So you guys are dealing with someone that sees you as a potential. They see you as someone that they can commit to. Okay? But they're not ready. See? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Be careful because this is someone that could take advantage of you. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Pentacles is like seeing someone as a potential partner when it comes to finances, stability, security. Okay? Um, they're like, okay, well, if I get with Scorpio, Scorpio has a lot to offer. They're stable. They're secure. You guys might own a business or you make good money. They're like, okay, if I'm with Scorpio, I can just sit on my ass. I can do this. I can do that. Or if this person is already in a relationship or a commitment, you will be a mistress. Okay? Queen of Pentacles and Reverse, Nine of Pentacles. And they don't, they're telling you that they want something long term. They may, but if they, if you guys do have something long term, it's going to be a long term third party relationship. Okay, and you may be buying this person stuff, doing stuff for this person, giving them a lot, and they're taking advantage. So do not let this person take advantage of you. 
All right. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles coming up in reverse? Oh, shit. I'm going to get that in one second, Scorpio. Guys, I don't take a card from the ground. But let's see what's going on. The Seven of Wands. And this person is determined. Okay, they're going to fight. Meaning like this person is like, they're going to fight for you. They're going to defend this relationship because they want to keep you around. I don't know why I'm getting this, this energy. Yep, to the star. Be careful what you wish for. Okay? Um, now, this person is fighting for this or like, this person sees you as wish fulfillment. They see you as the one. They There's something about you that they do like. But in the process, this person is like taking advantage or they're just really thinking about themselves or they're thinking about what you are offering, giving, providing to this relationship. Period. Okay, so do keep that in mind. Page of Wands came out and reversed on the ground. Again, you guys, I don't take cards from the ground. Um, but I'm just telling you what I see because it's here. So let me get this Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. Um, oh, wrong side. Let's go into their feelings towards you. All right, let's see. Messages for Scorpio. How does their person truly feel towards them? We have flirts. All right, so extend your lighthearted energies to others. All right, so this person could be flirting with you. Okay, like I said, I thought this person came back towards you, came back in your life. All right, so let's see you. Why is the flirt card here for Scorpio's person? Two came out, Mira. I'm only gonna take the one, I only want one message. Mirror, mirroring each other's self-image, relationship reflects old wounds, introspection. So this is the one from your past, okay? There was some hurt, there was some wounds, okay? And I feel like you guys are needed to reflect on that, whether rather than focusing so much on them coming back in this relationship. Because I feel like this person is going to hurt you again, okay? You guys are still mirroring each other because there's still something that needs to be healed within both of you guys when it comes to this relationship, this connection. All right? Someone is worried about their self-image, Someone is worried about what the next person is offering and giving. Someone is dating or with someone because of their image or because of what they're offering and giving or because of the fact that they are stable, okay? Now, we have temperance in reverse. Let's see how temperance is coming up in reverse. Sagittarius energy. Nine of wands. This person may press your buttons just to see how far you'll go. Temper to reverse, not of wands. How much do you care about me? How much are you, like, like, how much do you care about me? How much are you willing to do? Are you, like, do you really want this? Are you really going to fight for me? You know, do you want this as bad as I want this? I feel like this person is testing you to the fullest, Scorpio. Eight of swords, someone's trying to get in your head. They are trying to get in your head, Scorpio. All right? Eight of Swords, look, justice in reverse. You guys can be dealing with a Libra. There's injustice in the situation. They're not being honest. Why is this justice card in reverse? Look, King of Cups in reverse in the sun. By them getting in your head and manipulating you, it's going to make them happy because they feel like they're going to be able to get what they want when they want, how they want it, because they want it. All right? Could be a Leo that's doing this. Could be a Libra. Could be a Sagittarius. It could be any sign. Okay? This King of Cups in reverse is someone overwhelmed with emotions, someone that has a lot of love, a lot of feelings with the sun card, a lot of love, feelings, passion, joy, happiness. You're very content in life or you just, you love being around them. They're taking that for granted and they know that. They know you love them. They know you care. They know you're willing to give whatever. They know that you will do whatever for them and they're taking that for granted. This person, Scorpio. I'm just going to tell you guys one more time. I love you all. This person is trying to get in your head. All right? I won't say that this person doesn't care about you. I won't say that this person doesn't love you. I see it's there. But it's like how they're coming in, they're all about themselves. It's a one-sided relationship. And even if this is a relationship that you're already in or a commitment that you're already in, this is the energy that they're in. This person is one-sided and selfish and all about them. Okay? Um, so let's see why this six of pentacles is coming up in reverse. Why is the six of pentacles in reverse? Six of swords in reverse. Okay. This is someone feeling stuck. This is someone feeling like they have no way out. Okay. Um, with that six of swords coming up in reverse. 
This is so I'm feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Six of Sword Beavers. Why the Six of Sword Beavers? The Knight of Swords. This can be, let's see, there may be an argument between you guys. Knight of Wands Beavers. Death card. You may put an ending to this. You're going to put an ending to this because you're about to see this person switch up. Um, so their true colors are about to show. And yeah, their true colors that they haven't already, they're about to show. This is about to be some, there's about to be one hell of an argument. Knight of Wands, Reverse, Knight of Swords, Death card. You're putting an ending to this, Scorpio. You can't even believe you fell for it. You can't even believe that you took this person back. Um, yeah, their true colors are about to show. Knight of Wands reverse, look, the High Priestess in reverse, Empress in reverse. Also, Scorpio, males, you guys can be dealing with a female that you have a child with or you're married to, they're cheating on you. Period. They're cheating on you. Point blank, period. There's a lot of infidelity, a lot of lies, a lot of cheating, a lot of secrecy. Um, and they know that you really care about them. This can be a water sign relationship, like you're a Scorpio with a Pisces, Scorpio with a Cancer. Are uh, you guys are like Scorpio, Scorpio, whatever this is, males, your wife or the mother of your child or whoever this person is, there's a commitment, there's a relationship, there's been separation. This person has been very secretive, very detached. They've been to themselves. They haven't been saying much to you. They're messing around, cheating, sneaking off with someone. They can be cheating on you with the Pisces. Okay. Male or female, but I feel like this is for like, I feel like there's a male that's dealing with the Pisces, a Taurus or Libra female. That is lying and cheating and stepping outside the relationship. With this Empress in reverse. King of Wands reverse. Yep, they can be cheating on you um, also with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, Eight of Swords. And that person is in their head or they're in their head about this whole situation. They um, they love you, but they can be in love with someone else or they're in love with someone else. There's something going on. Let's break down the, the Empress one more time. Knight of Swords reverse. Ten of Swords reverse. Yep. And I feel like this person, there could have been some arguments here recently between you and that person. Um, and I feel like this person could be arguing with you on purpose. Okay. They could have been saying some hurtful things to you. Okay. And they keep doing it because it's causing separation between you guys. And what are they doing? They're going towards this person that they're cheating on you with. Period. All right. Um. The higher finest here, potential outcome. All right, so someone is committed, someone is married, someone is in some type of long term relationship. Why is the higher font here? Yep, see the hermit. Someone wants to separate, divorce, break up. Are there going to be separation between you and a Taurus or a Virgo? All right, yep, the chariot. Yep, someone's moving on, someone's moving forward. Cancer energy. Someone could be um, going towards someone at a distance, traveling to someone, someone could be traveling to someone. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Someone wants to commit to someone else. Someone wants to be in a relationship with someone else. See? Yep. Yeah, justice reverse, not a wands reverse. Are they lying to you about someone in their past or someone they were dealing with? They're still messing around with that person. Alrighty. So let's see. Three of Cups is here. Overall energy. So it looks like there was some type of reunion. Okay. Three of Cups. The Nine of Swords, someone's, so yeah, someone's stressed out about a third party situation. There's a lot of fear here, Two of Cups Reverse. Someone, so there's a soul, there's two soulmates around. Or like someone has a karmic partner, a soulmate, or, because this would be a breakup, okay? This is someone coming together. This is a breakup, all right? The Two of Cups is here, the soulmate energy. The Judgment card, Ten of Wands. This is something that's weighing heavy on someone's chest. Someone has lied, cheated, stepped outside of their relationship, their commitment, their marriage, or they got back with you, but they're still in love with the ex, still messing around with the ex. There's something to do with the ex or something like that. It's going to be different for all of you guys. Or your person is cheating on you, Scorpio. Okay? Um, there's something going on here. All right? Four of Pentacles, Reverse, Ace of Pentacles. And they're going to keep messing around with this person. They're really wanting to go into commitment with someone else. Or you're wanting to commit to someone else. All right? Period. All right? So, let's pull the overall energy, Scorpio, and let's see what's going on. Overall energy for Scorpio. 
keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Yep, see? Scorpio, you are keeping an open mind about someone or someone's keeping an open mind about you. All right, let's see. See the wedding card? Someone's confused. Someone's keeping an open mind about a, their wedding, their marriage, and another person. So someone is committed or married. And they're just like, okay, should I stay with my husband or wife? Or should I keep an open mind about someone? Someone's going to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone and express to them how they feel or tell them, like, what's going on. You know, like, what should I do? All right. Um, let's see why I keep an open mind is here with the wedding card. And it's like Scorpio um, males. I feel like you want to marry someone or you're going to ask them to marry you. And you're going to find out later that this person is in love with someone else or cheating or you could already ask this person to marry you. All right. So do be cautious and careful. All right. Someone's true colors is about to show. We have, look, see, union. Someone is already in a union. Someone's already married and committed and doing this. For others of you, you feel like the person or you feel like the one or you feel like the person that you want to be with is the person outside of your relationship. You feel like you guys are meant to be together. Yep, see so you guys been communicating with a fair male or female, okay? And you guys have a past life connection with this person. And either you feel more connected to that person or that person feels more connected to someone else. And they are, they feel like that's the person they want to be with or should be with, okay? There's a lot going on in this situation, Scorpio. A lot of scattered energy, a lot going on. All right, so let's see what else we got. Messages for Scorpio. Here, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio. Give me one second, Scorpio. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry about that, Scorpio. So we have assurance. 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 Sorry. That word always gets me. Okay. So it says, it's time to challenge this situation and say... This is not good enough. Stand tall and take a stand. It's time to show the world just how damn tough you are. So you guys are really needed to be tough in this situation. You really need to put your foot down. It's like whatever is happening, it needs to come to a stop. Okay? Um, but yeah, someone's true colors is about to show when it comes to a commitment. Okay? Um, yeah, Scorpio. All right? Um, let's see what your overall energy is. Let's pull one more spirit message and not be your reading. All right, so we have a listening number 23. That breaks down to five. Five is all about what? Change. So let's see. Number 23. And it says, drawing this symbol indicates that you are meant to listen to what others are saying with their gestures rather than their words. In my house of night, there would be a beautiful girl with skin the color of dark honey. Who has the gift of poetry? She is able to weave tales with great details and expression, yet without being obvious or straightforward. Reading between the lines and finding true meaning are what are required right now. Listen and learn. What others don't say is what is what others don't say is what is important at the moment. So what you what they aren't saying is what you need to focus and pay attention to. All right. So again, what others don't say is what is important at this moment. All right. But like I said, someone's true colors is about to show. Okay. Their true colors are coming out. I love you, Scorpio. You guys already know if you guys want to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. I will be extending this reading for sure. Um, I hope to see you all on the other side. If not, send you guys love and light. Love you much, Scorpio. Bye, loves.